kindly subscribe to our youtube channel to watch the full lecture hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's video let us see how to prepare a cost sheet the question is on the screen kindly take the screenshot of the question so that when i am solving the problem you can look at the question now this is a format in this they have given the information regarding the calculation of per unit also so it's better to make four columns the reason is this is the format so on top i am writing that cost sheet for the year 2022 now this is as usual particulars you can take this two column will be for per unit means for single unit what will be the cost so total they are producing how much units they are producing 10000 units they are given in the question these two are as usual the amount column now how to solve this first we have to take materials so take here materials how much is the materials it is 90000 this 90000 is for 10000 units for one unit if i want to know then i should divide it by 10000 that time i will get 9 second one is wages wages is how much wages is 60000 so it is 6 rupees per unit now add these two we will get 1 50000 Thousand. So here for one unit will be fifteen rupees. Now what is this one lakh fifty thousand? Write it in the outer column. It is our prime cost. Prime cost. Now for this what we need to add? We need to add factory overheads. Factory overheads. what are the factory overheads that are given power and consumable so the power and the consumables that comes under factory overhead okay that also you need to take it here it is 12000 for one unit it is 12 rupees next we have indirect wages so that i have told you in the previous video that we need to take it under factory overhead indirect wages is how much it is 15000 for single unit it is 15 rupees then we have factory lighting factory lighting how much is a factory lighting it is 5500 for 10000 units and for one unit if you divide it by 10000 you will get 0.55 next we have defective work some defective would have happened for that some expenditure would have incurred that comes under factory overhead defective work is 3000 this 3000 is for 10000 units and for one unit if you want to find out you should divide it by 1000 next we have repair maintenance repairs maintenance and depreciation of plant how much it is 11500 if you divide it by 10000 you will get 1.15 now add all this and the total you should write it here you will get 47 Thousand and for single unit it is forty seven rupees. So now add one lakh fifty thousand and forty seven thousand. Sorry, before that there is one thing we have in the question that is sale proceeds of scrap. So you have sold a scrap. So make it here less. sale of scrap 
how much is a scrap it is 2000 means here how much it will be it will be 0.20 because you need to divide by 10000 when you minus these two you will get here that is 45000 and here 45 rupees now what is this 45000 it is the total what you get after adding all this and subtracting this 2000 scrap now for this add 150000 and 45000 you will be getting 195000 and here it will be 19.5 rupees so what is this 195000 it is known as work cost or factory cost next what we need to add we need to add office and administration overhead office and administration overhead now what in all the office and administrative overheads we have we have clerical salaries clerical salaries is there how much is the clerical sal salaries it is 33000 500 means nothing but it is 30 sorry 3.3 sorry here they should write 3.35 next we have that is uh, okay only this much is it okay and management expenses yeah in question they have told that if you see the question they have given office and selling expenses as a percentage of work cost so you have to say take here office and administration as well as selling also because in question they have told us to combine so what is the selling expenses we have selling expenses we have 5500 So when you divide it for ten thousand unit, it will be zero point five five. Now add these two, we will get thirty nine thousand, and here it will be thirty nine rupees. Now add this one lakh ninety five thousand and thirty nine thousand, you will get two lakh thirty four thousand. Add nineteen point five and thirty nine, you will get twenty three point. Four zero because if we divide this by ten thousand, what is this two lakh thirty four thousand? It is known as cost of goods sold. Now for this we need to show profit, but here we don't know profit, but we can find out the sales. What they have told sales? See the question properly. The net selling price was. Thirty one point six zero. So the net selling price was thirty one point six zero. So thirty one point six zero into how many units they are put selling? Ten thousand units, which is nothing but three lakh sixteen thousand. Now to get profit minus this from this, that is three lakh sixteen thousand minus two lakh thirty four thousand. When you do that, you will get the profit. You will get a profit of rupees eighty two thousand. So it will be eighty eight point two zero rupees. Hope you have understood this segment. Now we need to calculate the overhead rate. Now calculation of overhead rates. Now. first what they have told the percentage of direct wages that is factory overhead should be considered as a percentage of direct wages they have told that factory overhead should be considered on the basis of wages so what will be the formula now 
the formula will be it will be factory cost or factory expenses divided by wages into 100 now here factory expenses total is 45000 factory expenses means adding all this and subtracting this we will get 45000 and wages is 60000 so it will be 45000 divided by 60000 into 100 which will be 75% means 75% of the wages we should consider next they have asked us to calculate the office and selling expenses as a percentage of work cost so office and selling expenses as a percentage of work cost so what will be the formula now the formula will be office expenses divided by so it is on the basis of what on the basis of work cost so work cost into 100 so so what is the office expenses so office administration expenses is 39000 and the work cost is 195000 so 39000 divided by 195000 into 100 it will be 20 percent what is that means 20 percent of total work cost so now we need to find out an estimated cost sheet for the year 2024 so you should write it as statement of estimated statement of estimated cost sheet so for the year 2024 so particulars and write the amount and amount column here now materials so they are told that in the year 2024 the factory will produce 15,000 units See, in 2023 year it produced 10,000 units but here it is producing 15,000 units so this is this amount column is for per unit so now materials how many units they are producing 15,000 units into so what was the per unit rate it was 9 see in 2023 year the materials per unit rate was 9 so here 15,000 into 9 rupees then in question if you see they have told that the rates of raw materials and direct wages will increase by 10% so here plus 10% now when you do this we will get 1,48,500 when you divide it from 15,000 per unit value will get 9.90 next wages same thing you have to do total 15,000 units we are producing and each unit per unit prices here in the last year it was 6 rupees so here you need to make into 6 then they have told in the question that it will increase 10 percent so plus 10 percent it will be 99,000 when you divide this 99,000 from 15,000 you will get 6.60 rupees now add these two we will get 2,47,500 
then when you divide it from 15,000 units we will get 16.50 what is this this is our prime cost now for this prime cost we need to add factory overheads notice the question properly they have told that in question factory overheads are 75 percent of the wages so they have told in the question that factory overheads, overhead should be basis on the on the basis of wages and here we have found out that it should be 75 percent on the wages now how much is the wages wages is 99,000 here see wages is a 99,000 into 75 percent if you do you will get 74,250 divided by 15,000 you will get 4.95 now add these two you will get 3,21,750 what is this 3,21,750 it is our work or factory cost when you divide it from 15,000 units you will get 21.45 rupees next for this you need to add office and selling overhead office and selling overhead so they have told that it should be on the basis of work cost and in above we have found out that it will be 20% on work cost so what is the work cost here it is 3,21,750 on that you need to put 20% it will be 64,350 divided by 15,000 then it will be 4.29 rupees now add 321,750 and 64,350 it will be 386,100 what is this this is known as cost of sales cost of sales divided from 15,000 it will be 25.74 rupees now for this you need to add that is profit in order to know the profit we need to know the value of sales we don't know the value of sales but in question we have told they have told that as on 1 1 2023 the selling price was reduced to rupees 31 per unit so the selling price is 31 rupees into we are producing 15,000 units it will be 4,65,000 now divide this from 15,000 which will be 31 rupees now subtract these two we will get 78,900 that is 5.26 so hope you have understood this video very well the notes for this I have put in the first comment kindly download the notes and study well if you have any queries regarding today's session, kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com.